This video looks at the learning management systems market from the point of view of the innovator's dilemma de definition of a disruptive technology. This is the basic graph from Clayton Christensen's book that explains a disruptive technology. The existing technology is that top arrow that's solid. It's serving the higher end of the market and eventually providing even more features than the market really demands. A new technology starts up, that's the lower line, that actually has far few, fewer feature and starts out in the niche of the lower end of the market. But then due to sustaining, in, sustaining technologies improving the performance, it actually ends up taking over the higher end of the market. So for this example, let's say that the high-end market is the university market. A lower-end market is the middle and high school. One could argue that they need a product with fewer features at a lower price and probably will have lower margins than the university market. So an example of a high-end product that serves a high-end market is Blackboard and the other proprietary LMS systems. Right now, very few middle and high schools have LMS products. Blackboard does have an offering in that, but very few schools are doing it. So the question is, what are the technologies, what are the potentially disruptive technologies that could serve that market? Moodle, which is an open source learning management system, is one possibility. A lot of schools and teachers are just using the many free Web2 sites, blogging sites, Google Documents, and many others. And then there's the personal learning environments like our Mel product. The personal learning environment is a term used by Stephen Downs and others, and it's a small pieces loosely joined approach that takes various open source and Web2 products and puts them together to create a student-centric product. We're hoping that's the sort of disruptive technology that has a chance to win in this market. And if we're interested in your opinions, please put them in the comments. Thanks. Bye-bye.